Hey everybody, this is Lena from Just a Little Bit Country. I thought I'd come outside and walk around, kind of show you what I can show you. <laughs> Two of my dogs decided they needed to come outside. That's Ava and that's Gracie. And that's the front yard. And that's where the dogs live. Now, that area over there on the other side of the fence, that's mine as well. And it runs up to where that other fence is that has that... Um, shop in it so that empty lot over there is mine it used to have a shop in it and uh just as soon as we decided to buy the property <laughs> that's when the uh well the save the city decided it needed to be torn down so down it came i think i need to put something on my fence it's kind of wobbly anyway so we have the empty lot over there that's ours there's where my daughter cleaned up the other day it's starting to rain so i probably won't be out here very long <laughs> um, let me show you so like I said we have that empty lot over there and this portion we don't use the front door for people to come in and out of because I have my dogs out there and at any time I can let them out and I don't want anybody to get bit and I don't want my dogs to get out and I don't want dogs to be in trouble so we go in and out this door and that was my son's camper and he gave it to me when he moved into his apartment it's definitely raining mailbox so anyway we own this piece of property here all the way out to the road and across the creek on the other side all the way back to the back I'm gonna walk down here as best I can without breaking my neck gotta get this mess cleaned up and this mess cleaned up hi mama kitties that's Grey Worm right there. She won't let nobody touch her. This is Tiffany. Say hi, Tiffany. What are you guys laying in the rain for? You know it's raining? Did you know it's raining, Miss Grey Worm? It is. I don't know what you guys playing in the rain for. Yeah. That's all my gardening stuff. And I had things in that one and that one. And nothing grew. Because <laughs> it got so hot this summer. Gonna get rained on. Oh. I did have a swimming pool thing here filled with uh, stuff I planted, but I dumped it. As you can see, I have another one over there. Tiffany, did you know it's raining, baby? And I had a grapevine planted here. I guess he's still here, but I don't know if he's gonna come back up in the spring. I will mulch him, we'll see. And then I had a, a, I believe, that little dude right there, that little stick coming out of the ground. That was my, I want to say raspberry bush. And then here, and I do believe he has just died. He was right here. Might be him right there. I don't know. I did have a, a grape. I mean a blueberry bush here. And he looks like he's croaked. And it looks like everything I planted croaked. Because it got so hot. But uh. Anyway they put a spout in. Down there off the sidewalk. Because they just put a new sidewalk down there. Into the creek bed. Don't make me fall Miss Tiffany. I know you like to travel under my feet. We started doing a patio here. But I need like. 10 more bricks and uh, I'll have to have my son come do that when I can afford to do all that. Uh, I had trees planted along that and out there but you know they're the kind you get from Arbor Day Foundation so they weren't very big. So I've been complaining for like four years since we got here about the erosion problem. So the city's finally come out and fix the erosion problem all the way back there and down through here and they have stopped right there so I don't know if they're going to continue on down to the bridge with the rock and stuff or not but that's as far as they went used to be a tree right there and they took it down not really sure why the hell they took the tree down I don't like to see these people back here 
I do want to get a fence put up eventually. Anyway, that's the backyard. When, when the tornado came and it knocked the trees down, the people that come to move the trees tore up my fence that was here that had the gate on it. <laughs> but I own all the way back down there until you there the culvert comes out into the uh, um, creek and that side over there all the way up to the road on both sides anyway so but now we got the concrete in here to keep hopefully hold off on the erosion problem because as you see from my house there to where it drops off ain't very far <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'll try to walk down through here and come up the other side if I don't break my damn neck. No, I don't think I will. I'm not too sturdy on my feet and I don't really want to take a tumble. <laughs> anyway, it goes all the way down there. I, the only thing I don't like is the fact that they took out my, um, you know, privacy. I like privacy. I don't like all the trees and vegetation pulled down around me. I might go back in this door over here. I'm closer to the back door than I am the front. So we shall see. Oh, that's probably locked. <laughs> My husband locks every door. Thinks the boogeyman's going to get him. Of course, he grew up in the city. I grew up everywhere else. <laughs> city, country, you name it. I like my mother. I don't like my door. Probably should, but I don't. But anyway, Whew. ouch. Mm. Well, I'll go through here if I fit. <laughs> Hi, girls. Let me go through there if she fits. Take that back in the house and wash the mop out. I'll let you back in, girls. It's raining. Oh, I know what I'm gonna start going here and get a car. Get in the car. So I can go with the girls in. That hurt the hips. Oh. Anyway. Woo! Let's go up here now and let the girls in since it's starting to rain. That made me out of breath. But, I wanted everybody to see it. See, see, see. And Tiffany and Miss Grey Worm, they're just gonna sit in the rain, I guess. Whew. You know I can see you and you don't need to do all that unnecessary bark jumping at my door. Really? <coughs> <coughs> <sighs> oh, I'm going here. The laundry room in there. Would you get off my leg, Gracie? Go on. Get down. Crazy thing. You're crazy. Cray cray. I don't have my lights on on my tree. I have to get my daughter to climb over and turn everything on for me. I can't do all that. Yeah. Go away. I'm going to go over here in the corner. Look out the door. Through the window since your dogs have followed me. Can't open the door. The cats live back there. Anyway. There's the backyard like I was showing you. And then it goes all the way down there. And like I said, that whole entire side over on my... That whole entire area over there on the left there. It's all there too. Um... I want to eventually paint this kitchen. I was gonna go with a plum color, but I think that would be too dark. So I'm gonna go with a little lighter purple on the walls. And I went ahead and I painted these cabinets a uh, volcanic ash color, and I used flat when I should've got gloss. But the biggest problem is these cabinets are really, really old. And um, although they look really nice here, 
they just threw whatever they wanted to throw on here to put this bad boy together. And if you lift all this crap up, that's molded all the way through there. So come January, I want to rip these cabinets out. These here and this one over here on the bottom. And I want to get rid of them and get new cabinets. I also want to take out that speckled black and white crap up there because it's broken in several places and put down new. And if you notice, you see my floor? That's what they used on the backsplash. And that's also what they used as a counter. And it's not put on right. They left it, I think they just threw it together, however. So, like I said, I want to get new cabinets piece by piece. I can, you know, they, this piece here, that's one piece, two piece, three piece, four pieces. Um, I just want to do the bottom. The top ones are in pretty good shape. So I want to get new ones on the bottom. I really wanted to get an apron um, sink, but that might be a little bit more out of my budget than I can afford. So I was really considering, instead of getting the two that's like this, just get the one that's got one big long sink in it, like a farmer's sink. Um, excuse me, what are you doing? Get out of that. But that's what I want to do in here. Um, and like I said, the walls are going to be a different color. I do not like the salmon color that is on the walls. I think that's about the most ugliest color known to mankind. And you see how it's got the ship stuff below it? I don't want it to be white, even like the color white. So I want the walls to be a purple. Not extremely dark, but a purple. And then I'm really considering, ha ha ha, I don't know why I would tell you this, but I either want to use the volcanic ash on the um, door frames around the room, right? To kind of match up because when I get my new kitchen cabinets in, they will be volcanic ash. The top ones, I'm just going to put a gloss portion on the door. And when I do the bottom ones, it'll be a semi-gloss as well. The trim will either be a volcanic ash, like the cabinets, black or a lighter version of the purple that I'm going to put on this top part of the wall. This part down here that's white, I wanted to go with a lighter gray than what I have on the cabinets. And my idea for this floor, if I can't get the, um, uh, or if it's too expensive and out of my means to get the, the flooring that I wanted, which is the uh, gray wood plank that snaps together and goes in here. Then I'm thinking about getting a Rust-Oleum paint and you just paint over top of what's already here. And uh, then you can put down um, the Rust-Oleum sealer that would go over the floor as well after that. But that's what I want to do in here. Um, and just clean those bad boys up. And here in this spot that's empty here, my idea was to put a bar here in that hole and with chairs because I never seem to have enough chairs and place to sit in the kitchen. And I want to put a um, coffee bar in that corner nook over there and just have my coffee bot and stuff there. Technically it's right here right now, but I would like to move it to the corner and have that be just a um, like an espresso machine, stuff like that coffee and they can sit down here at the bar and drink the coffee and my son Robert was talking about putting um, shelves in here which I thought would be okay over top of the bar you know put shelves there put stuff on and um, this piece here um, it's in pretty good shape but um, we want to get rid of it so it's going to actually go outside in the backyard and I'm going to turn it into a catio or a cat house for my cats. That way they have, you know, they're nice and dry. And I want to get a uh, metal um, rack to go there for the um, microwave. So I'll have a metal rack for the microwave. Um, that one as well has come out and I have to get a new one for it. I want to get a matching um, thing that goes over top of the stove bent. I want it in black to match my stove. I'm going to do that. Um, 
On the inside of my cabinets up there, I will put down probably a gray contact paper because there's nothing in the thing up there as it is. And this backsplash, I will pick something that can go there or I'll tear all this down and it'll just be painted for now until I decide what can go there. And if I paint it with a gloss, then you know you can just wipe it down and you're good to go. But I will probably put a different vinyl background on it. That's not vinyl. That is actually puttied on there. And in places, it's torn up. Like you can see up here at the top of the wall, it's torn up there on that area. There's a hole. And what I also don't like, I don't think I have OCD, but I don't like my um, outlet covers be turning crooked all over the place, and I got quite a few of them that are like that. I don't like it. So basically, it's what I want to do in my kitchen. Um, the flooring in the living room is in really good shape, so I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to do anything to this room. Oh, by the way, I also hate the popcorn ceilings. I would love to get rid of them and just paint the ceiling in here and the rest of the rooms. The popcorn ceilings in this room, I would probably leave alone. Possibly. Or at least leave it alone in that area where the uh, um, fan is and maybe do the outside portion. Just take the popcorn ceiling part down and paint that. Now, the flooring from the laundry room down... Not the bedrooms, mind you. The flooring, because you can see how it had got wet and it's all pulling up. I'd like to take the flooring from here down all the way to the uh, outside portion and change that out. If I can't go with what I'm wanting to put in the kitchen. See, if I, if I can afford to do what I'm doing in the kitchen, that's going to go throughout the house. But if I can't afford to do that, and I have to do the rust-oleum in there, then from here down, I'll probably uh, get that rolled out linoleum and put down until I can afford to do something else. And uh, see, as you can see too, the board's coming up right here. Let me turn this light on so you can see. Okay, how the boards are coming up. So th they didn't even make it go from there to there. This is how they left it when the people come in to work. And in the laundry room, I'd like to have, uh, I'd like to move those cabinets that's over there and maybe put them over here on this wall. I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> Something. Move puppies. Move puppy. Pu move. You have to go on now. Go. Go, 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 go. Move. And that is my mother's room for when she stays here. Get back. And it's painted the green. And she didn't like it, so she wants to paint it lavender. And we'll have her pick out the colors. Go. And as you can see... The entire house had uh, wallpaper on it. And when they did the house, instead of taking the wallpaper down, they just painted over top of it. So this paint just peels right off the top of this wallpaper. Right? So I'd like to fix all that. That's the bathroom in there. My daughter's painting the walls. Um, when we had the leak from when the tornado came, it put a tree through the roof. So um, my husband had to climb up there and patch all that. So in here, we need to take portions of the uh, ceiling down and repatch it, especially over top of the tub and over there on that wall. I'm not sure what color to paint the walls in the hallways here, but I truly hate this ugly stucco looking white color. I cannot stand it. It is like gross. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Truly hate it. And I don't really like the, uh, the wood look in the hallway either. So whatever I did up here to the walls, I would probably do a lighter color down there at the bottom. See how the, when uh, everything flooded, it tore up my floor here too. And then as you see, you see this spot here. Apparently they did not know how to fix a hole and then repatch it without leaving it looking like that. So I had these thoughts of why not take it down on this side here and down there on that end and possibly a little further up the wall and make those shelves that are like in the wall 
what I'm saying? I think that'd be kind of cool, in my opinion. I don't know what to do to my bedroom because my husband likes it the way it is, so I'm just going to leave it alone. But I would eventually like to be able to put in a walk-in tub in this hallway bathroom. And I would like to have a walk-in shower in my bathroom. Move, doggies. I'm coming back in. I've talked and walked as far as I can. I need something to drink. <laughs> anyway, um, this room is green. My daughter-in-law painted it green. For now, it's fine. I don't care about the color. I use it for an art room. Um, I did call the city clerk's office today where I got my doing business as paperwork done three years ago. But now she swears to me that, no, you have to go to the county to do that. So, okay, whatever. I'll go to the county and do it. But I do know that I had done it at the city level the last time, so... But anyway, I was told it's going to cost $25 to get my DBA. I have to have a do, doing business as license name change thing so I can get my reseller certificate and my um, um, state sales tax exempt, exempt form, basically. So that way, when I go to do liquidation boxes and stuff like that, I can go to wholesale companies and I can buy wholesale and I won't have to pay tax. Mm -hmm. So... That's why I need to do all that for. Because then I can buy from places like Wholesale Ninja, Bulk, um, this wholesale company that's right here in town, Southern Liquidators, places like that that you'd have to have a reseller certificate. Because I'd like to be able to go when we get a truck and a trailer and drive to these places and bring pallets back that I can resell either on Poshmark or, you know. However, I resell it, blue market, whatnot. But... I need to have a reseller certificate just to be able to do that. Okay, so also, I was going to show, um, oh, I can do that on another video, but anyway, this is a picture, picture of the house and the yard. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel. Um, share us. It helps me be seen. Um, what else was I going to say? Hit that little bell for more videos. And subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you as a part of my YouTube family. Also, we're doing a contest at 150 subscribers. Um, there'll be three winners. We'll have a uh, Amazon gift card, a Dollar Tree gift card, and a mystery bag. Anyway, everybody have a great day. Bye.